Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we are doing my everyday makeup basket and shop my stash for June of 2021. So this shop my stash is going to look a lot different. If you missed the video where I completely reorganized my entire makeup collection, I'll throw it up in the cards. But essentially, I bought another pair of Alex drawers and I... I made kind of the standard beauty guru desk vanity, and I'm really happy with how it came out. So everything's going to look different, including where the everyday makeup basket actually sits. So this actually sits on top of the vanity on the opposite side, and it's on the wall with all my cute headbands on it. And I thought it just came out very cute, and I do feel better having this big kind of thing up against the actual wall. So I don't know about you guys, but May was just such a busy month. It was busy in my personal life. It was busy in my work life. I think it's been the longest month of like 2021 so far. And so I'm excited to finally switch out most of these products and pull in some new products to play with and have fun. So let's start up on the top. I I think we have another month or two left in this Essence Mascara, so I'm going to leave that. The Shop Missé Mascara that I opened, I think I also have another month with, so those are going to be okay. This is actually a Shop Missé Brow Gel that I need to test out still. I actually haven't opened it, so I think I'm going to put my NYX Control Freak Brow Gel and the AOA one up here. It'll be their new little living space. Here I just have a lip balm. And then over here I have liners. I'm going to move out the Artista liner from Shop Missy. I actually really like this, but I want to bring in some other liners. Um, I kind of want to keep all these NYX ones in here because I've really been enjoying them. I love these NYX liners so much. So I actually pulled them all out of my collection to use this month, and I love them, and I kind of just want to keep them out there. I've got the yellow, I've got the green, I got the teal, I got the white, I got the purple, and then I have the lilac. To be quite honest, I'm probably going to go back on Ulta and buy more colors, because these are just so good. Right here I have my glitter glue that can stay. Let's get into the lipstick. So this lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, these black lipsticks, I'm going to move back into my collection. Let's see, I'm going to move all these minis back into my collection except the Charlotte Tilbury. To be quite honest, I haven't really used it yet. So I'm going to keep this one right there and the rest are going to go back. For setting sprays, I'm almost done with this Make It Last and I'm like halfway or no more than halfway through now. This NYX uh, matte setting spray and I only have two left in my collection. So once these are done and I move those up here, I'll have to go out and buy some more setting sprays. But there's some really great ones from the drugstore that I'll probably just pick up from our local CVS. So I'm good there for now. Let's move into the first drawer. Okay, so in this first drawer, I think the majority of everything is going to get swapped out. Um, I hit pan in this AOA pressed powder, so I think I'm just going to finish this one up in here. I'm going to move out both primers because I really want to pick out another primer, so I'm going to move those back in. Let's see, it's getting hot out, like summer, summer out, so I think I'm going to keep my two summer concealers in here, which are the Maybelline Superstay and Instant Age Rewind Eraser, so I'm going to keep those. I'm going to move back in the color correctors. Well, actually, I'm going to leave the green one in there because I want to test it out with some foundations. Um, and then speaking of foundations, uh, I think I think I might just leave the double wear in here because that's a really good sweat proof one. And then the rest are going to go. <laughs> so that's everything left in drawer number one. Drawer number two. So I started using this MAC Paint Pot to prime my eyes. And I kind of like it, but I feel like at this point, it might be a little too thick for how hot and sweaty it's going to be getting in the summer. So I'll move this back into my collection, but not for too long. I think once I actually open it, I should probably use it within like a year. So that won't be there forever. Uh, Pan the palette's definitely staying in. The It's freaking Bats palette. I think I'm going to put on display in my backdrop because I really like this palette. So yeah, so I'm going to move this over to my backdrop area. Let's see, the liquid blushes from Rare Beauty are going to get moved back out. I really like those blushes. They are beautiful and so pigmented. Um, I'm going to move the highlighter, the bronzer from ABH, and the bronzer from Kylie, the loose highlighter from Kylie. And then I've been using these Glendinic lashes, and I really like them, but I need to reach for some other lashes. And actually, I just found out, I think I'm getting a whole nother collection of lashes from a different company, not Glamnetic, in PR soon. So I'm going to just leave that open for whenever those come in, because I think they're coming in kind of soon. So we completely cleaned out that drawer. That is it for drawer number two. Drawer number three has a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and then my custom face palette. I'm going the custom face palette out. I honestly didn't really use it that often. I used the blushes a little bit, but other than that, eh. 
The flower bomb I really liked. I used it more so for the um, the glitters. I used them as inner corner highlights. They're really pretty. I'll move that back in. Norvina, I'm going to put up top because I'm actually about to film with it. I'm going to film a full face palette video with this, so I'm going to keep that up here. Um, I'm also going to film with all of the mini Natasha Denona palettes that I have, so I'm going to keep the minis, and I'll probably pull the rest of the minis out when we go through my eyeshadow palettes. I was also going to film with this, the Divine Roses. It's a really pretty palette. <laughs> it's honestly, it's gorgeous. Um, so I just don't know if I want to keep it there. I think I'm going to go back, because what I used to do is keep products I was going to film with in this bottom drawer, but then I used it for electronics, but I was able to move the electronics out. So I think I'm going to go back to whatever I'm going to film with. I'm going to put down here so we can even put the Norvina. We got the minis, we got the Pat McGrath, and we've got the Norvina because those I'm going to be filming with probably sometime in the next week. Um, and that clears out drawer number three. And you already saw, ooh, we're going to move it. You already saw drawer number four. It really just has the loose powder. The loose powder I'm using right now is Laura Mercier. Uh, you know, I could bring in another loose powder, but do I want to finish this? I think I want to finish this and then I'll go into my other loose powders. I don't really want to open up another one until I finish that one. So we'll just finish that one and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, now that we have everything cleared out, I added everything into a bag so it won't be in our way when we actually go through all the Alex stores in my collection. So let's jump in and start shopping my stash. All right, in drawer number one, we have setting sprays and then primers. I really wanted to bring out the Skin Active BB Cream from Garnier. Technically, it's a BB cream. I use it as a primer, and I really think this is also going to be great as just like a kind of luminous base for when I really don't want to wear makeup now that it's getting really hot outside. So I want to bring that one in. And do I need anything else? I think I should probably use up this Lorac eye primer. I know it's going to last me forever. But I'm just thinking about what I want to use as an eye primer, and I've had this for a bit. So I think I should finally try to start using it up. So I'm going to move this in for my eyes. And then I think we are good there for primer. This drawer down here has all my individual bronzers and then blushes. What have I been feeling for blush? Hmm... I kind of want to go with a loose blush. I used a loose highlighter last month, and I kind of really like this peach one. So this is from uh, Crow and Pebble, and this is in the shade uh, Torch of Heaven, she, sh she Who Shakes the Sky. Um, but it's this beautiful like peach, so I'm going to bring that one in. And then, you know, to match it, I'm bringing this cream like bright orange. I think that'd be really pretty from Fenty. Do I need an individual bronzer? I kind of want to just finish this one up. So this is an old Milani face powder that was too dark for me. And then I just use it as a bronzer. There's only a little bit left and I really want to finish it. So I think I'm going to bring that one in to try and just finish that up. Um, but otherwise, I think we are good. This drawer has all of my highlighters in it. I'm trying to think what I really want to bring out as a highlighter. Hmm. I did just use a loose highlighter last month. I'm thinking I should bring in, I, I, you know what? I really neglect my individual pan, like depotted highlighters. So I, I want to pick a couple of these to bring out. So the one I have in here, I need to clean out the Z palette, but this is a mini from a Kevin Aquan duo that I had a long time ago. Um, so I'm going to bring in that little mini highlighter and then... Let's see, what other ones from here have I just not really touched? All right, I'm gonna bring these three highlighters in. So this one is the Kevin Aquan. This one is actually Mary Luminizer. Remember that one? <laughs> Mary Lou from the Balm. And then this is a Tarte highlighter that I was given as a gift from my friend Bougie Brie. So I'm gonna bring those three in to use. now the last drawer and then like my backup mascara and brow gel drawer <laughs> hmm are there any in particular I really want to use I kind of want to bring out some ones that I think are used up enough that I should probably get rid of them like this old house of lashes one you see how much glue was like left on them I think they probably have one or two more le like uses left in them so let me bring out that one 
Are there any other older ones in here? These velour ones are still really nice. So I'm going to keep those. Is there anything over here? Nope. It's brand new, brand new, brand new. Alright, here's another pair that I've used quite a few times. They look really beat up. So I'm going to probably use them one or two more times and then get rid of them. So since those are regular lashes, I am going to need a lash glue. I'm going to just grab... Is this duo one still even good? Oh, it is. Okay. So let's try to finish up this duo lash glue. Alright, in this lash eyeshadow palette drawer, there really isn't anything that I feel like I want to pull out. So I feel like we should swivel to the other set of Alex drawers. All right, over on the other side of Alex drawers in this top drawer, we have our foundations, concealers, and powders. I think we're good on the pressed powder because we still have that AOA Studio one up there. These are the loose powders that we have to use next. I don't know if I'm going to pull out the Fit Me next or maybe this e.l.f. one that I haven't tried yet, um, but it'll probably be one of those. Let's see, for concealer, I think I should probably only, well, do I need another one? I've got two concealers in there. The only thing I might bring back in is the Dermacol because I've been having some bad breakouts lately and I've been just bringing this out to like spot conceal. I should probably just keep it in my basket at this point. Alright, so now for foundation. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh, huh, huh. I think I'm going to bring out the AOA Studio uh, Perfect BB Cream to test that out. And I think I'm going to bring out the Kat Von D just because it's, oh, it's not Kat Von D, excuse me. It is KVD Vegan Beauty with Vegan and Kindness and, and Beautiful Vegans and, and we do nice and we do very good vegan beauty things. Um, but I think this is supposed to be, you know, lock it, full coverage, matte. So I think I'm going to start needing that now that it's getting really, really hot outside. Well, actually not today. Today it's surprisingly like in the 60s. But there was a day where it hit 97 and like I wanted to die. I don't like the summer. <laughs> okay, so scooch, 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 scooch. Um, I think we are done here. Let's go on to the next drawer. I'm really happy with this drawer. It's all eyeliners, liquid shadows, liners, and then single shadows. Hmm. So what do I, I, I know I want to bring out a liner. I really need to declutter these liners. Honestly, not all of these are good. Not all of them do I actually want to like keep and keep using. So. Let's see, let's bring out Ooh, this copper would look really pretty with some looks I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to bring out this pixie. Technically this is a shadow stick. I use it as a liner. And then maybe let's do, okay, what do we want to do for the liquid liner? Do I have a brown liquid liner? Should I maybe do brown? I've got this MAC one I haven't touched in a while. What's this one? Oh, it's Glam Medic. Uh, da, 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 da. Should I use the NYX or should I use the MAC? Alright, I'm going to bring the NYX Epic Wear in black and then this MAC Liquid Last in brown just to actually use it. I kind of want to bring in this Tom Ford single shadow, like duo. Ooh, ooh, that got squished. Um, but this is actually just a really quick and easy, like, two or three minute look that I can do. And I think it's very summery, are the colors. I got this in PR. Um, personally, I think it's too expensive for just, like, one or two looks that you're going to get out of it. Um, but if it's literally going to be, like, your only eyeshadow product and you need something that's going to be there and work every day and, you know, you could... Do it really quickly and you don't have to prime your eyes because literally this cream shadow on the bottom is the eye primer so if that fits your criteria then i would say yes this would be worth it but otherwise i think you're better off sticking to like some cheaper single shadow alternatives but in order to get some use out of it i think i'm going to pull it into this basket i think we're done here so let's move on to the next drawer all right this drawer has all of my lipsticks now this isn't going to be the final way i'm going to store them honestly i need to find a new insert that works better for lipsticks because i like keeping them in these categories so i've got like reds nudes blacks we got greens glosses but there's definitely a better way they could be organized in here so 
what do I want to wear? I kind of want to bring out these, or one of these YSL lip stains. Let me see, the pink one? No, I don't know about the pink one. Maybe this medium brown shade. Let's do that one. All right, and then I want to bring out these two lipsticks. I have the Fenty in the hot pink shade because this just like screams summer to me. And then this is from the Sophia Nygaard and ColourPop. This is the Bury Me in Lipsticks. And I think it's just a really pretty just tone that I think would work really well. So let's bring that in. Moving on down to my face palette drawer. Um, all I'm technically missing is a contour, but I really want to bring this kit out because this is like a really great face, if you use it as a face palette, it's a really great face palette for the summer. Um, so like this shade bronzed, I can use as a contour, and then I'm pretty sure I could use Tourmaline as a bronzer. So I'm going to bring those out. I don't know how dark these two highlighters, I know I can definitely use this one, don't think I can use, let me focus, don't think I can use the summer, I think I can use the summer highlight, I'm not sure about Moonstone, but these are going to be like my bronzer and contour, the glowy kind. So we got that, and I think that's going to be it. Yeah, I think it's going to be it for this drawer. And in this last drawer, we have some more eyeshadow palettes. I need to get the rest of the mini Natasha Denona's, but I think those are on the bookshelf. I think I'm good here. So let's move over to the eyeshadow palette bookshelf to finish us up. All right, so over here at the eyeshadow palette bookshelf, um, I'm trying to think. I really actually, I keep the ABH palettes up here. I really want to pull out Riviera. Cause this is like a summer palette doesn't it look like one how pretty is that and i feel like i could use some of these shades with my pan that palette and i think this would look really really pretty so i'm gonna pull out riviera from the bottom shelf i'm pulling out this natasha did on a mini so i can fill my uh, spotlight on petite palettes with all of the minis and you know what it might, i might be a little heavy on natasha this month but i really actually want like been wanting to play with the sunset palette I don't know, I feel like I've been a bit nostalgic for it, and I haven't actually dug in and done a look with it in a while, so I'm going to pull this one out for this month. And it does, does not just scream summer again. <laughs> and I think that is going to be good, since we still have some eyeshadow palettes I have to film with in the basket. So, let me go ahead and organize all of these products in my basket, and I'll be back for the final reveal. All right, and here is our basket. We've got our lipsticks up in these two sections. I added the other eyeliners up there. These are some sample little packet lipsticks I still have to use up, so I've got those there. And I think that's everything for up here. Drawer number one has all of our foundations, our primers, concealers, powder, and color corrector. Drawer number two has both of our Natasha palettes, my uh, brow product, lashes, the Riviera palette, and the Tom Ford single shadow duo shadow thing. <laughs> Drawer number three is the rest of our face products, our highlighters, the two blushes, the bronzer, and then the um, ABH sun dipped glow kit. Last but not least, we have all the palettes I'm basically going to be filming with this month in here, along with the Allure Mercier powder because it is too thick to fit in any of the other drawers. <laughs> So that is everything for June. I have to say I'm much happier with how the layout of everything is now. Um, it's definitely not going to be 100% or basically what's in the Alex drawers isn't 100% set because like I said there are a few things I want to rearrange but I'm really happy with where the everyday makeup basket is and how the rest of the tabletop is set up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you're going to be using in June and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!